The city of Lviv here in the west of Ukraine is perhaps the best example of the stark differences between the country's main centers. Walking along these ancient streets, you really do get the feeling that you're in a popular historic spot in Western Europe. And it's not surprising to hear that Lviv is often referred to as the little Paris of the East. <laughs> Many of the old buildings and monuments here date back to the 13th century reflecting various European styles and periods. Lviv largely survived the conflicts of the past, and it's said that half of Ukraine's architectural monuments can be found here. The city of more than 700,000 is now considered to be one of the country's main cultural centers. The preserving of national identity is very important in this city, especially since Ukraine became independent. We're trying to preserve everything related to our national Ukrainian culture. Once a main trading center between East and Western Europe, Lviv has had many influences after hundreds of years of Polish and Austrian rule, then German occupation and the Soviet era. Seven years after Ukraine's independence, Lviv was added to the UNESCO list of World Heritage Sites. And adding to the city's character is a tramway system that dates back to 1880. Lviv is also one of Ukraine's main centers for research and learning, with close to 70 institutes and centers of higher education. The large student community seems to thrive on the city's popular cafe culture and mix of influences. narrow streets on Lviv, you really feel the scent of coffee, uh, the scent of chocolates and the scent of old times. So um, Lviv is very unique because a lot of cultures are merged in it. So uh, it is very important to understand it if you, if you want to feel the city. Lviv is also remembering its sad history. This monument is dedicated to the large number of local Jewish people killed in the Holocaust. Before the Second World War, about a third of the city's population was Jewish. Today, the community numbers only about 5,000. Impressive churches have always been a part of the skyline in Lviv, but there's talk of a resurgence in religious life here over the past 20 years. And when it comes to culture, literature is enormously popular. But the perfect music to help visitors step back into the past is also never too far away.